Hey guys, how are you doing? Uh, my name is Masood and welcome back to my channel. So, in today's video I just wanted to discuss um, should you actually go into a NHS uh, rotational post or should you go into private practice or you know should you specialize in one area um, when you come out of university. So, this is a very common dilemma that uh, many physiotherapy students face uh, when just about uh, finishing, when they're close to finishing their course. I know that in my experience, actually, the advice that I got um, from my lecturers were to, or was to um, actually go into a rotational post. And I think that that's the sort of conventional wisdom that's present um, amongst uh, physiotherapists and the physiotherapist community, um, especially in health, uh, sorry, in, in the NHS. And, you know, I've spoken to some private practice clinicians who also advise the same thing. I guess there are many reasons and it sounds very, um, it sounds very, uh, you know, sensible to do it. Um, one of them being you get a more broader experience of all the different areas of physiotherapy. So, you know, you, you're going to do like rotations, um, four month rotations or six month rotations, depending on uh, your trust. So you'll be in um, the different areas, you know, neuro, um, uh, orthopedics, uh, MSK outpatients, um, neuro outpatients, neurosurgery, um, ICU. Um, so you're going to be in a lot. Of, you're going to have a lot of the different experiences that you can draw upon, um, and this may be a little bit more advantageous than actually just going straight into private practice. Um, so where you're just doing one uh, one thing and um, you're actually on your own. So that's another thing actually. In the NHS. Um, when you do rotations, you're in a um, you're in a big team of other physios. You have other people who are really really experienced and who can help you out. Literally, just two minutes away, you can just step out your booth um, whenever you're when you whenever you got um, when you come across a hard patient in MSK patients, just step out and just ask your your colleague um, who might be a, a band six or you know even higher or a band five whatever. Um, basically, they can just help you out and um, you know it's just there. Uh, and I guess that's that's the difference with um, that's one of the differences between um, private practice and um, being in the NHS. Um, you don't have um, the support that's there, and that's something that's really important, especially um, especially you know freshly coming out of university, um, where you still even though you finished a degree, you finished uh, you finished um, yeah physiotherapy, one of the hardest degrees there is, uh, in my opinion anyway. Um, you know it's a it's a it's a profession where you never know everything and you're always learning it's a lifelong sort of um, journey that you're on once you take up the physiotherapy profession and so um, in private practice you may not have that support and it's going to be a little bit hard uh, to actually you know to manage sometimes um, you know some some people are out there actually you know go ahead and do it and they manage fine so you know I can't really speak for everyone but that's just something to consider Another thing with the um, with private practice is that um, you um, is that you know like I feel like you don't get as much um, support not support but there's not that much people looking after you um, it's more like it's more uh, it's more about money um, that's the experience I got so far anyway um, just from my just from um, uh, being exposed to other private practice health professionals um, I'm not saying they're all like that but you know the emphasis is on actually just making a lot of money um, and you know some people are uh, not really about that um, but if you are then you know that's great um, okay next next uh, next topic so should you specialize or you know people specializing straight out of university Again, this is a bit controversial as well because everyone says that you should do rotations to get a broader experience. Um, so you can, um, you know, if something comes up in your private practice or in your MSK um, outpatient's uh, role, you have that respiratory knowledge or background to, to use. For example, it might be like a breathing problem. You can use your um, your ACBT or, um, or, or any other sort of um, knowledge that you've picked up. But, you know, if you really have something um, on your mind and you really have your, uh, basically your mind set on, on a specific area that you want to do, then, you know, by all means, just go for it because there's no point in wasting time, right? You can actually specialize, um, you can actually become a band six or specialize in your area much quicker if you just go into it straight out of university um, instead of doing rotations for two years. So that's a, that's the benefit of doing that. Um, but I guess the negative is you don't get that broad experience. 
Um, so yeah, I guess um, you know you can see that there's there's benefits and disadvantages to um, there's advantages and disadvantages to all all of these options. Um, ultimately, it's a decision that you guys have to make yourselves. Um, and you know, I would say that d just because everyone is saying one thing um, doesn't mean that you have to do it. So everyone is saying to do rotations. That doesn't mean that it's the right thing for you to do. Um, I think that you should um, really, really try and think hard and um, you know consider what's the best decision for you um, in your career and where you want to go and what you actually prefer doing. So make sure you ask yourself all of these questions before you actually make a decision because you don't want to waste it, waste time, you know, changing uh, jobs or, or, or whatever. Um, but I wish you guys all the best in your career decisions. And yeah, basically that was this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you had any uh, comments uh, you wanted to share or anything that you wanted to say, please leave them in the comments section and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. So yeah, hope you enjoyed that video and take care.